That's right. Something different. Here's part two of how to make a 100% recycled journal. You're going to start with junk mail. Blend it up after it's been through a shredder. Suspend it in water and scoop it up on a screen that has a decal. See, he's removing the decal. It makes the edges nice and thin. And then you're rolling the paper out on uh, felt or some sort of dish rag. You see how he rolls it and it helps it come off. Well, almost perfectly that time. And then you hang them out to dry. Once they're dry, they look like this. And this is how we're going to make our 100% recycled journal. Um, I showed you last time the mold I made from this design. This was my original sculpture. Um, this, is, this here is Ethan cleaning up the mold. We're using mold in um, plaster because it helps some, you know, get more of the water out because there's so much water, as you can see, so very much water. And the more water you get out, the less water has to evaporate because it takes forever. Here's Ethan packing the mold with the paper pulp and drying with moving air. This is how it comes out. And the last video, part one, I showed you how I painted them. Here are examples of some finished ones that I did. And we're going to make one that was just like that with this cover. You see, I put some autumn colors in there. You start with folded paper, it's the paper that we just made. Get bundles of it and fold it. This is going to be the front and back board and also the binding. So I'm cutting this small box of from vegetarian deli meats into small strips. This is going to be the binding here, as you see. You're going to mark along each side of the binding paper board because that's where you're going to put the needle through. You're going to literally sew it right on that uh, paper board. You're going to start from the inside of the packet, or rather I start from the outside because that way the, the knot is on the outside, and then you sew them around from the very middle of the fold to the outside of the fold until they all look like this. They're all together like this, you see? Now we're going to use this pasta box here as the front and back board, measuring it with the cover because it's going to all pretty much be the same side. You see I had to reinforce it there with uh, some other little pieces because there was a, that's where the, see here I am reinforcing it with the pieces because of the crease. The box wasn't quite big enough on its own so I had to make sure it wasn't going to bend. So I reinforced it. And then you just cover it with the handmade paper. I find Elmer glue to be the best. And then weight it down with something, let the glue dry. And then you're ready to <coughs> start making, you know, assembling your journal. The first thing you're going to do is cover the binding with some recycled paper, just a piece of recycled paper. This is going to be like um, the joint in the back. You see I smear the glue around so it doesn't, because if you don't really smear Elmer's glue and make it pretty, uh, like kind of a thin, if, if it comes, if it, you keep it the way that it was and, you know, the big, it's going to come through the paper and, you know, these really fun designs. Now after the joint is, after the, the joint is on, you're ready to, to paste the end boards. So the last piece of paper on the back bundle and the first piece of paper on the first bundle ends up being the end pages. And I glue them, paste them right on the boards that I covered. That's Those are those covered pasta boxes or the pasta box covered. Glue it really good, making sure the edges are down. And then I like to cover, I like to put some plastic in there while it's gluing so, because inevitably some glue is going to leak out from the edges and then it's you're going to glue the other pages together you don't want to glue together. So I put plastic around because then it's easier to pull that off of the glue. And now we're ready to do the front. Same thing. Glue, but then you want to smooth it out so it's not in those little snake-like glue blobs. So it's all nice and smooth. And then you're going to paste the board on top of it. Mm -hmm. 
and then going inside making sure all the edges are down and this is now where I'm pasting the front the molded paper that we painted in the last video or painted one similar to this in the last video protect the front weight it down to the glue dries and then you've got a beautiful journal that looks like this thanks Thank you.